Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, how are you? I'm a little tired, but okay. I imagine, but it's Friday. Yay. <laughs> Finally, right? Yep. So, very good. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the class. I'm really too happy to see you here. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Um, right now, I'm feeling good. And I'm ready to, to the class. Okay. After all, <laughs> uh, I didn't... Um, uh, how do you say it? No, I started in class. I haven't been. I haven't been in class during last days. Yeah, I know. You explained to me the situation, but I'm happy to see you here now. So welcome. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Very good. So everyone, welcome to the class. I hope that you feel ready for the class, ready to participate. And I mean, look at the bright side. It's Friday. Do you have any plans for the weekend? Uh huh. Anyone? No plans? No plans for the weekend? Sleep a lot. <laughs> Hello. Work. Good evening. Okay. Zipido says to sleep a lot. That sounds like a good plan. Uh, work. So do you work on weekends, guys? <clears throat> the full weekend? I work on weekends. All Sometimes. Right. <laughs> oh, okay. I uh -huh. think this is not the case. I'm sorry? Oh, sorry. I was speaking on, speaking on loud voice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So everybody, welcome. Welcome to the class. I'm really happy to see you. Well, do you remember the topics that we studied yesterday? Report speech, yes, no question. Ah, very good. We were practicing reported speech with the yes, no questions, right? And now we are going to continue practicing that topic, but in a different grammar tense. If you remember yesterday, guys, um. I sent a list with some of the most common verbs in past and in past participles. Did you check that list of verbs? Did you review the verbs in past and in past participle? I will check it yes, on but in weekend. On weekend, <laughs> okay. And the rest of you guys, did you check? The list, yes, no. Mm. Okay, I hope you do it, especially if you feel that you haven't memorized the verbs. If you already know the verbs in past and in past participle, I mean, it's not necessary. That list is just to re uh, review the most common verbs in past and in past participle because we are going to use them, okay? So if you feel that you don't remember very well the verbs, let's check the list that I sent it um, yesterday on the uh, on WhatsApp group so you can review the verbs and your homework is to memorize them, okay? That is like your homework for this weekend. All right, so welcome. Oh, I can see Amanda. Hello, Amanda, how do you feel? Hi, not so better. I have COVID, but no. I don't want to miss the classes. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so maybe, sorry to hear that. Maybe uh, could I disconnect uh, some minutes before at the ending of the class? Okay. Okay. But do you have the medicine? I mean, everything? Yes. Yes. I had the, the test uh, this noon and I made all the average. 
Okay. Well, be careful, please, and follow <laughs> all the medical instructions and try to get better soon, okay? Thank you. Very good. And thanks for the effort because you are here. I know that's <laughs> not easy. So thanks for the effort. Thanks for the effort, guys, to all of you. I know that you might be tired, but look at the bright side. It's Friday, okay? So uh, let's participate. Let's try to talk a lot so you can learn and you can feel that the class is shorter. Now, let me start sharing the presentation. As your classmate said, yesterday we were talking about the just no questions in the reported speech. Uh, can you see the presentation, everybody? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Pretty good. Okay, so today is August 18th, okay? And this is the topic for today. Explained most common issues when online shopping, okay? That is the topic for today, but this is... The class objective that we are going to be working on. Volunteer for reading, please. Me, teacher. Thank you. Go ahead. At the, at the end of the class, class participants, participants will learn how to use a report a speech with yes, no question in simple and present and simple and past. Thank you. All right. Yesterday, if you remember, we were practicing uh, to report just no questions in simple present. Today, we are going to focus on just no questions, but now in simple past. Okay. Let's review a little bit the topic that we studied yesterday. So if I want to report in speech, imagine that I have just no questions in simple present, what do I need to do? For example, if I say, can you tell me guys, a just no question in simple present, please? Anyone? Do you have pets? Very good. Do you have pets? This is up. Simple, just no question in simple present. Okay, but I want to use the reported speech. Hmm, what is the first things that I need to do? First of all, let's start with she ask. or he, exactly. Ask. Ask me. Very good. And then? If. If. Ah, I if. I had. I have. It's good. Do I need a question mark? No. No. It's no. an affirmative. Exactly. Pretty good job. Now let's review the rules. I need the word if and then the sentence in simple. Past. Excellent job. So that is exactly, guys, what uh, what we need to do when we are reporting speech and using the yes no questions. Remember, one of the first things that we need to do is to change the pronoun. We change the pronoun when it is necessary. There are some sentences when we don't need to change it, right? What is the second rule? Change the verb to past tense. Past tense. We always change the verb in past. past. Excellent. And now that is a just no question, we need to add something. What is it? If. If or whether. Exactly. We have the word if, that is the most common one. But if you want, you can also use the synonym that is whether. Okay? Is it clear, everybody? Yes. All right. So let's start. Um, we are going to start with the topic for today. But before checking the structure, we need to review the present perfect because we are going to use it. Okay. Now, some of you 
remember perfectly this structure. Some of you, maybe we have some issues with this. When we are talking about the present perfect, remember, I need the subject. What is the auxiliary? Have, has. Exactly. Have or has, depending if it is third person. And now we are going to use a different verb. This verb is in? Past participle. All right. Past participle. For example, I have eaten. Can you tell me, guys, something that you have done during all this week? Uh -huh. I have gone to the beach. Very good. I have gone to the beach. What else? Uh huh. Tell me something that you have done during this week. I have worked. Very good. Yes, I have worked. What else? <laughs> Anything else? I have worked on the platform, for example. Mm. I have studied English, right? So this is the present perfect. What happens if I want to say the sentence in negative? Has not. I just need to add the word not. Can I use contraction? Yes. Yes. What is the contraction? I haven't. Um, Very good. Awesome. I haven't or I awesome. haven't. So, for example, I haven't gone to the beach. I haven't worked. I haven't eaten pizza, for example. Okay? Is it clear the structure of the present perfect in affirmative and negative? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay, now just remember everybody, if you want to talk in present perfect, you need to use the verbs in past participle. If you don't remember the verbs in past participle, I suggest you to keep the list ready with you so you can see uh, the verbs and it's going to be easier for you. Now, yesterday we also reviewed the structure for the yes no questions. For example, in this case, the only things that you need to do is to switch. Switch the position and the auxiliary will go first. Mm -hmm. So the question is, for example, have you eaten pizza this week? Uh -huh, guys, have you eaten pizza this week? No, I haven't. haven't. No, I haven't. haven't. All right, so if the answer is no, we say no. I haven't. Okay. Have you eaten pupusas this week? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. <laughs> uh, yeah, we are Salvadorians, right? Excellent. So you see, yes, I have, or no, I haven't. If it is in third person, simple. Instead of have, you just need to say has. That's all. Any questions so far about this structure? Questions? We use a complement. Absolutely. You can use different complements. Now, something that you can use with the complements, everybody, so on, um, there are the time expressions. But you have to be careful with the time expressions in the present perfect. Remember that the characteristic of the present perfect is that the present perfect are activities that are unfinished or that you don't specify that you already finished, okay? So can I say, for example, ah, I have eaten, Pupusas yesterday. Do you think that I can use yesterday as a time expression? No. No, because yesterday is for simple past. Yesterday already finished. 
So some of the compliments that you can add is, for example, this week. You can use, for example, lately, recently. Um, you can use, for example, can use today, yet. actually. Which one? Yet. Yes. Yet. Already. Since. Uh, for. There are different Just. Spanish expressions that you can use. Which one? Just. Just. Yes. What you have to be careful is to use time expressions, guys, that express that the action is over. And I, these kind of time expressions are the ones that we use specifically for the simple past. For example, last week, last year, yesterday, last night, uh, the day before yesterday, all right? Those kind of expressions are the ones that you cannot use because those sentences or those expressions represents that the sentence is completely over. Okay? Got it? Yes? Any question about this, everyone? Okay. Questions? No? If you have questions, tell me because we are going to use it. Uh-huh. No questions, are you sure? All right, let's have a practice. But before that, guys, I'm going to check attendance. So as always, when you listen to your names, say present. Um, let's see, Amanda Zamora Miranda. Present. Thank you. Ana Lorena Lovato. Present, teacher. Excellent. Boris Alexander Cortez. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Oh, I think he's listener. All right. Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Present. Thank you. Carlos Mauricio Menjiva. Present. Thank you. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Elias Neftali Martinez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Thank you. Irma Evelyn Rodriguez. Irma Evelyn. All right. Jose Salvador Bernal. Present, teacher. Thank you. Josman Atilio Serrano. Osman. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Kevin Alexander Perez. Present. Thank you. Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Present. Thank you. Maria Jose Siguenza. Okay. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present. Thank you. Oscar Alexis Lara. All right, eh, Osman Enrique Hernandez. Osman, okay. Pamela Carolina Molina. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Alexander Serna. Okay. Ricardo Ernesto Perez. Present. Thank you. Cifrido Ernesto Gómez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Wilber Alberto Pérez. Present, teacher. Thank you. And Andrea Jamilet Mendoza. Present. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, guys. All right. Now, we are going to have a quick practice with the just no questions. Give me a second. Give me a second. Let me start sharing the presentation again. Now, 
this is what we are going to do. This is an exercise that we started yesterday. So we have to make yes, no questions using the present perfect structure. For example, in this case, if I say the verb is the verb C, so the subject is you. So what is the question have you, here? Have you seen the football have, match? Have you seen? You seen the football match. The football match. If I want to add a time expression, can I say, have you seen the football match uh, last night? Can I say last night? What do you think? You know, All right. Last no. night is for the simple past. What we can say is, have you seen the football match recently? That is another time expression that we can use. Now, look at the next one. The verb is turn off. So what would be the question? Have I turned off the gas? Ah, very good. Have I turned, turned off oh. the gas? Pretty good. Then what is the past participle, guys, of the verb invite? Invite. All right. Invited. <laughs> Invited. So what is the question here? Mm -hmm. Have they? Have they? Have they? Invited. 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 A lot of classmates to their party. Very good. So look. Auxiliary. Subject. Verb in past participle. And complement. A simple yes no question in the present perfect. Now, I will be asking individually the people that I ask that people answer. I will assign one sentence to all of you. This one, let's see, let's start with Eulise. And uh, this one will be for Andrea. I have Carlos Ernesto. Who else? Who else? I have Hosman, um, Nelson, um, let's see, Wilbur, Me. and Elias, of course. Thank you. Okay, so guys, whenever you're ready, tell me what is the question. Uh, he... Uh... Lost the game. The game. Has he lost the game? If the answer is yes, Elisa, what will be the answer? I'm not sure because uh, it has uh, the proposition too. And I'm not sure if necessary to add the proposition too. Oh, in this case, guys, uh, very good observation. The verb has the preposition to, to indicate infinitive, right? But when we use it in the sentence, I don't need the preposition to because the verb is not in infinitive anymore. The verb is in past, past. participle. Mm -hmm. So in this case, everybody, if I'm talking about he, um, has he lost the game? If the answer is yes, what can we say? Uh -huh. What is the answer? Yes. I don't know. I was lost. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the box. If the answer is yes, Yes, he he has. Yes, he has. yes, he has. Ah, very good. In this case, I'm talking about he. So we answer like, yes, he has. If the answer is no. He hasn't. That's the one. No, he hasn't. Pretty good. All right. Very good job. Next one. Who's ready? 
Um, has Lily traveled by air? Very good. Has Lily traveled? Right? Again, guys, auxiliary, subject, very fast participle. Very good job. Thank you, Andrea. Next one. Yeah. Cosma, yeah. are you ready? Go ahead. Yeah. Me, did you? Okay, Carlos, go ahead. Mm, they have they played tennis? Okay. Have they played tennis? tennis? Very good. So, Carlos, if the answer is yes, what can we say? Mm, would be yes, they have. That's the one. Excellent. Very good job. Uh huh. Who's next? Okay, Cosmar, are you okay, ready? Teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Uh, okay. Has the teacher? Uh huh. Check it or detection. All right. Pronunciation? Check it. Checked. 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 Right? It's like a Checked. letter T at the end. T. Checked. Checked. Very Checked. good. That's the one. That's the one. Next one. Who's ready? Me, teacher. Thank you. Go ahead. Have you returned the book to the library? Very good. Have you returned? All right. Don't forget returned. that. Yes, don't forget to exaggerate the pronunciation in the verse in past participle, especially the regulars, okay? Very okay. good. Thank you, Elias. Very good job. Next. Teacher, the answer uh, going to say, yes, you have, or no, you have not, correct? It depends. Because imagine that I ask you, Elias, and I say, Elias, have you returned the book to the library? What would you say? Yes, mm, I have. I have. I have. Because in this case, I'm asking you. Mm. So you have to say, yes, I have. Or if the answer is no. No, I have not. I have not. Or in a contracted form. No, I haven't. haven't. Very good. Remember, the verb is have, haven't, right? Thank Next. you, teacher. You're very welcome. Nelson or Wilbur, who's ready? Mm, Gio, me. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, have your neighbors uh, bought a new car? Bought a new car. Pretty good job. If the answer is no, no, they haven't. That's the one. Excellent. Okay. Teacher. Uh huh. I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, the pronunciation, but of but. It's like but. But. Okay. Mm -hmm. Be careful, everyone. Remember that if you say, uh, some people used to pronounce this verb as a boat, but if you say boat, that's another word. Okay, so in this case, it's just but, but. All right, Wilbur, go ahead. Has he forgotten your name? Very good. Has he forgotten your name? Pretty good. Look at this one. All of the verbs are in past participle. So this is the way, guys, that we can ask just no questions in the present perfect. Is it clear? Everyone? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Any yes. question? Uh -huh. No questions, are you sure? Today, guys, during the class, we are going to use a lot this structure. 
So please, again, keep in mind or uh, keep close um, the verbs in past participle, okay? Now, now that we understand or we I'm remember. Sorry, excuse me. Yes? I, I have a copy. Oh, you're copying it. Yes, continue, please. Now, Thank you. that, you're welcome. Just let me know when you finish. Now, guys, that we already review or that we already remember how the structure of the present perfect is, we are going to be able to use this structure in the reported speech, okay? Remember, guys, that we can use reported speech in all the grammar tenses. In this week, we have studied only in simple present. But now we are going to see reported speech in another grammar tenses. Okay? So uh -huh. be careful. I, uh, you finished? Uh, no, I I I I done the, the page. I, I copy the, the the number three. Um this one? Three. Yes, yes. This is one? Okay. Yes, I see. Okay, let me know when you finish. If you want to copy, guys, do it. If you want to do this exercise again, or if you like, if you would like to have the link, I can send the link of this website too. If you want to do the exercise by yourself, so that is very useful too. Okay, so if you want the link. I can send it on WhatsApp group or here in the chat. Just let me know. I finished. You finished? Okay. All right, thank you. Let's go back. Now guys, that we already practiced the structure, let's start with the topic for these questions using reported speech. Now, yesterday we practiced just no questions. When the question is in simple present, we use a reported speech in simple past. Now we need to think what happens if the question is in simple past? What do we need to do? And remember what we read yesterday. Yesterday we read that when we report or when we want to report what the other person say, the verb tense often shift back. Remember what was the meaning? Yesterday I explained the meaning for shift back. What is that? Simple <laughs> To change uh -huh. the uh -huh. time. Exactly. Change Very good. Exactly. When we say that the verb shift back, we are talking about that we change the grammar tense. The verb is in present. We shift back. That means we change the verb in simple past. Now let's see the structure. What happens if the sentence is in simple past. What do we need to do? Let's see the example. I have a customer and the customer asks a question in simple past. And it says, was I charged for shopping? So what will be the reported speech? The rules are the same. Okay, I need to say she asked or he asked. I need the word if, but now the grammar tense will be different. We are not going to use the simple past. We are going to use a grammar tense that is very similar to the present perfect. But the grammar tense is, what is the name? Past perfect. Past perfect. Past perfect. So what is the past perfect? It's very similar to the present perfect. 
but there is the only difference. Instead of saying have, what are we going to say? Have. Had. Had. That's all. Okay? Why do we use past perfect and not simple past? Because look, we need to shift back. So if you put it in this way, think about it. Um, imagine that I have here simple present. And it says that I need to shift back. What is the grammar tense? that is back to the simple present is the simple past. Okay, but if the sentence isn't simple past, what is the grammar tense that is back? Is the past perfect? Okay, and what is the past perfect? Easy, guys. That's why I wanted you to review the structure of the present perfect. If I say, I have gone to the beach, the only things that you need to do is to switch. Instead of have, what is the past form of the verb have? Have. Look, had. That is the past perfect, okay? So now what is the structure? Look at this. The customer asked, the structure is the same. Then I need the word if, and again, we are going to shift the sentence because the sentence is already in simple past. Let's change the sentence in past perfect. Okay, in this case, look, I need the subject, he, we need to change the pronoun, the same structure. I need the auxiliary. What is the auxiliary? Oh. Had, and then look at this one. I have the verb to be. What is the past participle form of the verb to be? Was. Been. Past participle? Been. 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 And then you just add the complement. So the customer asked if he had been charged for shopping. Let's give another example using the verb to be. Imagine, guys, that I say, were you at the party? Okay, what did she ask? Uh-huh. And she, she asked, asked me if I, if I had been if I had been at the at party. The at the party. Pretty good job. That's the one. Again, the rules, guys, are basically the same. Okay. I need the word if because it says it's a yes no question. I need to change the pronoun and I need to change the grammar tense because the sentence is in simple past. We shift back and we go to the past perfect. Got it? Yes? A little bit? Yeah. Let's Got have it. more That's practice. Right. Let's, ha let's have more practice. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. All right. This is a just no question using the verb to be. But remember, in simple past, we can use it with the auxiliary did. For example, did the package arrive? Hmm, what did he ask? The, cons the customer asked, or we can use another verb. The customer wanted, the customer asked, the customer required, depending on the intention. In these moments, to avoid confusions, we are going to continue using, guys, the verb ask. Okay? 
So, what did he ask? The customer asked. Uh huh. If or whether the package All right. had arrived. Okay. I will give you another example. Can you tell me a sentence, a yes, no question, guys, in simple past? Uh huh. The you... remember simple past the auxiliary you, is did the you see the TV show? Did you, did you what? Can you did you see the TV show? Very good. Did you see the TV show? Okay, what did she ask? Uh-huh. Uh, she, she asked, asked me. Uh-huh. Me. If I have, have been. Mm, do I need the yeah. word been? Because the verb that I have here is see. Same. Ah, if I have seen, seen, seen the, TV the, show. the TV show. The TV show. That's all. So I know that this can be a little bit confusing because now we are thinking in different grammar tenses. I know, but just keep in mind, if the question is in simple past, just move it to the past perfect. As simple as that. Can you ask another just no question, please, in simple past? Give me another example. Uh-huh. Did you mm -hmm. did you see uh -huh. did you see a movie a movie movie yesterday? Pretty good. Did you see a movie yesterday? Perfect. So everybody, what did he ask? He asked me. He asked me if yeah. I have seen have seen yeah. <laughs> yesterday a movie. movie yesterday. Yesterday. A mo so he asked me if I had seen a movie yesterday. That's all. Another question in simple past. Just uh, no I'm question. Sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Repeat. I repeat. He asked me if if I had seen a movie yesterday. Thank you. You're welcome. Aha, uh -huh, guys, give me another just no question in simple past. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's Thank participate. You. Let's try. Thank Let's try. Yes. And the second example, um, I don't understand. For example, the question is, did the package arrive? Yes. The reporter speech. And I don't understand to know. Ah, okay. Let's see the second example. Look at this, everyone. Pay a lot of attention. In the sentence says, did the package arrive? That's the questions that the customer ask. So now how can we report? Remember that we studied yesterday, guys, that depending on the intention, you can change the verb. Exactly as we did in the previous sentences. If it is a suggestion, you can say, ah, she uh, suggested me, or ah, she recommended me, she told me, she said, she asked. We can use different verbs. 
And in this case, it's the same. We can use different verbs. In this case, the verb that they are using is wanted to know. Okay, the customer wanted to know if, or remember that instead of if, we can use whether, that is the synonym. So, the customer wanted to know, or if you don't want to use this verb, you can easily say, ah, the customer asked if, all right? And then it says the package, this is the subject, I have the subject here, then had, that is the auxiliary in the past perfect, arrive is the verb in past participle. So that is the question. The only thing that in this case, guys, we are adding is this phrase. Basically, they are adding like extra information. So the customer wanted to know whether the package had arrived or not. But this phrase is optional. We can easily omit it. And we can say, ah, the customer wanted to know if the package had arrived. That is literal. If you want to include more details, is the ones that you can say or not. It's the same here in this question. For example, hey, did you see the TV show? Ah, she asked me if I had seen the TV show or not. Okay, I can include it, but it's totally optional. Okay, it's not going to change the meaning of the question. Uh, teacher, in this case, wanted to know um, or not is um, it's like uh, for the complement complement the 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 sentences or for the, okay the, com the complement is the phrase or not or not mm -hmm. is a complement but in this case when we say wanted to know is not a complement is the verb as i mentioned before guys we can say ask we can mm -hmm. say required or in this case, they are using the verb wanted to know. It's like when we say, el cliente preguntó, podemos usar ask. But there is another way. En lugar de usar ask, we can say, el cliente quería saber, right? Ah, the customer wanted to know if, okay? So we can use different, um, different verbs, different expressions, but at the end, these are optionals. Okay. You can use the verb that you prefer. No Thank worries. Mm -hmm. So if you feel, guys, that it's very difficult to use these ones, wanted to know, don't worry. You can use ask. This is optional. You can use the verb that you prefer. Understood, everyone? Yes, did you? Yes. Ready? Did you copy? Yes? Yes. Yes. Or not yet? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Very good. Okay. Let's have more practice. I have here, guys, different just no questions in simple past. You have to use the past perfect to report it. So, did you live in London? What did she ask? She asked me if I, uh -huh. if I had lived, if I had lived, lived in London. Nice. That's it. Now, if you want to add compliments, you can say, ah, she asked me if I had lived in London That's or here? not, right? Uh, or, no. or in this case, yes, you could say a time expression or any other compliment. But as I said, this is optional. Also guys, instead of ask, what can we say? 
asked. Instead of asked, what can we say? Um, told me. Mm, but in this to... case, remember, uh, we cannot yes. insist. No. Ah, now, because it is a question, we cannot say, told me, right? She wasn't telling me, she was asking me. So you can say, she asked me, or... She wanted to know. Very good. She wanted to know if... Da, 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 da. Okay? Different verbs, the same idea. Next one, number two. Did he arrive on time? What did she ask? She asked, she asked me uh -huh. if he... Yes. If he had arrived on time. Had arrived on time. time. Pretty good. That's the one. Next one, volunteer for the number three. Did you travel to Paris? Uh huh. Uh, uh, he asked me if I travel. If I traveled to Paris. To Paris. Is missing something. Auxiliary. What is the auxiliary? Have. Ah, so be careful. In this case, she asked me if I had traveled to Paris. Pretty good mm -hmm. job. Uh huh. Next one. Could you help me? She asked me if I. <laughs> now i want you to... can. okay listen can i help her this is a tricky question and i included it because i wanted to be careful with this if i have the modal verb could do i have guys a form in past participle if you check the list do we have past participle for the verb could no no right cool. in this case guys you cannot change it in past or in, in the past perfect oh you cannot say ah uh, she asked me if i could had no we can't okay so in this case easily you say just could because in this case is an modal, okay? The modals cannot be combined with another structure because they don't have a past participle form. Teacher. Yes? What happens if I change a food instead for might? You mean that instead of could, the model is might. That's what right. I mean? Right, right. It's the same. Uh, what I'm trying to say, think about the models. For example, I have can, I have should, I have might, I have would. All of these ones are models. What is the, past, uh, what is the simple past for can? Can has a past form that is could but for example should what is the past participle or the simple past for should mm. they don't have in this case i mean we cannot say should it like, like this no mm. they don't have a simple past form and they don't have a past participle form might can I say might it? No. No, really? No. Would. Can I say would it? No. No. So the modal verbs, they don't have past or past participle form. So in this case, again, we cannot say, ah, if I could had or if I had could. 
No. In this case, we keep the model as it is. And you can say, she asked me if I could help. Uh -huh. Help her. Very good. If I could help her. Simple as that. Later, guys, well, I don't know if it is in this level or in another level, you are going to see the structure of how we can use these models in past. But that is another topic that is another business that I'm not going to mention here because I don't want you to get confused. I just want you to be clear and I want to explain this to avoid confusions. If you suddenly see a model, remember, they don't have a past participle form. And actually, some of them, they don't even have a simple past form, with the exception of Ken. You know that Ken has a past form that is good, but that is the only one. Got it? Understood? Understood. Very good. OK, next question. Yes, do you have a question? I, okay. yes, I don't understand the, the call, the example call. Okay, lost. no worries. I will explain again. The verb could is special, okay? Could is a modal verb, like in these examples. These modal verbs, they don't have um a past form or a past participle form i mean they don't have it that's why we cannot follow the structure we cannot say something like um ah she asked me if i had could we cannot say that okay because could doesn't have a past participle form. In this case, we don't need to use had. We use just could. And that's why we say the structure, she asked me if I could help her. Okay, what happens here, guys, you cannot say she asked me if I had, could help her. Eso no se puede. No podemos combinar el had con el could. Por la simple razón de que could is a modal verb. Got it? Yes? yes. A little bit? I know that it's yes. a little bit confusing. That's why, guys, I want to clarify this. Just remember, could is a model. So we cannot say, I had could. That's all. Okay? Okay. Very good. Is it clear? Do you have any other question, everyone? It's clear. Yes, teacher. Pretty good. Okay, the next question. Did you work last night? She asked me if... Uh -huh. I work, work, work. Worked? Last night. Last night. Okay, but it's missing something. Had. Uh, Had. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, a question. The verb work is a modal verb? No. Hmm. This Ooh. is not a modal. This is like a natural verb. So I need to use had. I had worked last night. Yes? Is it clear? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Ready for an exam? Totally. <laughs> no. Totally. No. Okay. Let's have a practice. Uh, will you copy, guys, or can I change? Okay. I, I copy. It's finished. Okay, pretty good.
If you copy, I can give you the time. There's Done. no problem at all. Done, excellent. Did you finish, everyone? Mm, it's a it's a hard or hard in in in, in exercise five. Had, it is always had, because remember that we are using the past perfect. In all of the sentence we use had. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I... Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, can I move? Did you already copy everyone? Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Thank you. Okay. Now, um, let's see. I will be interviewing you, <laughs> okay? Um, I will say a sentence in simple past, and you have to report it, okay? Um, let's see. I will ask to Nelson. Hello, Nelson. Hello. Nelson, did you work... On the platform? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> okay. Uh, the teacher asked me if I were, is if I had worked uh, on the platform. Very good job. Very good job. Okay, Nelson, pick one of your classmates, please. Uh, okay. Let me see. Andrea? Andrea, okay. Hello, Andrea. Hello. Okay, Andrea, Nelson will ask you a question in simple past. Go ahead, Nelson. Ask a just no question. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, simple past. Yes. Did you have... Mm, a computer. So what did he ask, Andrea? He asked me if I had a computer. All right. Now that sentence is interesting because, and yeah. let me write it. Look at this one. Okay. Look at this. He said, well, the question was, did, oops, did, did you have? have a computer, right? Yes. All right. That's interesting because I'm using the verb have. So um, he asked me if I had, I had that had. is the structure. Now, I need the very past participle. What is the past participle of have? Uh, have. Had. <laughs> so, yeah. a computer. So, that is a reported speech. Yeah. Had, the first uh. had is just the auxiliary, guys. The first yeah. had is the auxiliary for the past. Perfect. The second had is just basically the verb in past mm -hmm. participle. Okay? okay? So it okay. sounds a little bit weird, but yeah, she uh, he asked me if I had had a computer. <laughs> okay? Okay, thank you. You're very welcome. Excellent. Nice question. Now, Andrea, pick one of your classmates, please. Um, Kevin. Kevin, <laughs> okay. Um, Andrea, ask him a simple question, please. Just no question in simple past. 
Okay. Um, did you um did you work to did you work today? What mm. did she ask? She asked me if I had work today. Very good. Yes. If I had worked today. Pretty good job. Kevin, pick someone. Oh. Let me check. Um, maybe Pamela. <laughs> All right. Ask her a question, please. Um. Let me think. Um, did you watch the Avengers Endgame movie? <laughs> uh -huh, Pamela. He asked me. If uh, he asked me if I had watched the Avengers Endgame movie, very good, excellent. And did you, Pamela, did you watch that movie? Yes, did yes. you like it? Um, yes, <laughs> <laughs> like it. Pretty good, pretty good. Pamela, pick someone. Um, um, Amanda. All right. So ask her a just not question, please. Um, did you did you take a shower today? <laughs> okay. Pamela asked me if I had uh, took a shower today. Hmm. Took or take taken. Took or taken. Taken. That's the one. Can you repeat <laughs> again, please? Pamela asked me if I had taken a shower today. That is the one. Very good. And did you? <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> very good, very good. The last one, Amanda, pick someone. Um, Carlos. I'm sorry? Carlos. Okay, uh, Carlos Mauricio, Carlos Ernesto. Carlos Ernesto, sorry. Okay, ask him a question. Thank okay. you. <laughs> he wants to participate. I know. He told me he wanted to participate. <laughs> Carlos, do you like the pastries? Simple past. Oh, uh, did you like the pastries? Pastry. Pastry. Pastries. Pastries like the, the, the dessert. Room. It's like desserts, like if you're oh, talking about okay, okay. cake, ice cream. Uh -huh. and Amanda asked me if I if I had likes dessert. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dessert. Nice. <laughs> if you don't remember the words, you're synonym. That's better than <laughs> Spanish. Nice. So Carlos, very good. And did you like Carlos pastries? Yes, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> very good job. Excellent. You are doing great, guys. I think that with the practice that we had yesterday, now this topic is easier, right? The only difficult thing here are the verbs in past participle. If you don't remember yes. the verbs... <laughs> There is not another option, right? We have to memorize them. Any questions so far, everyone? No. No? So ready for an exam? Yes. Speaking exam or not yet? Ah, come mm. on. Let's be confident. Okay, let's have a speaking practice because I want to everybody speak. So we are going to have an activity similar to the ones that we had yesterday with the difference that now, guys, I want you to ask yes, no questions to your classmates, but in simple past, okay? 
you can ask things or questions about what the person did yesterday. You can ask about last week, ask about last vacations. You can ask about last year or your last birthday. For example, um, did you wake up early yesterday? What did she ask? Mm -hmm. Did you wake up early yesterday? What did she ask? She asked yes. me if I had wake waken early. Wake, <laughs> what is the past participle of wake? wake. Woke up. Woke. Okay, walk. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, it's kind of funny because in this man, in the, in this moment, you are like, which one sounds better, right? Walk, <laughs> walking, walking. <laughs> so this is like, which one sounds better? But guys, that's why I send you a list. Verify the list. If the verb doesn't appear, you can go to our best friend, the dictionary. So, what is the past participle of wake? Extra point for the one who told me. Woke up. Woke up. It is not woke up. Awake. Woke up. It is not awake. Wake. Wake. No. Woke. Woke. I listened to someone Woke. say that. Woken. Yes. Woke. That's the one. So, we are going to say. She asked me if I had woken up early yesterday. Okay? Be careful with the verbs. Now, <laughs> um, be careful also with the word awake. Awake is not a verb. This is an adjective. Okay? Yeah. Pretty good. So... Uh, another question, for example, did you go to the beach on vacation? What did she ask? She asked me if I had gone to the beach on vacation. That's the one. Very good. So, guys, we are going to go to the breakup rooms. You need to ask just no questions to your classmates. And your classmates will use the reported speech to repeat what you ask, okay? And okay. of course, don't forget to answer the question. So you can use a reported speech and then answer. For example, everyone, did you wake up early yesterday? Yes or no? Not yes, really. I, I fought at five. <laughs> okay, so you can specify, uh, not really. Oh, yes, I did. Oh, yes, I woke up at 5 a.m. or at 4 a.m. Now, my suggestions is also, I mean, you can answer yes, but <laughs> keep on track, okay? Because sometimes you start to talk, everyone, and you don't continue with the activity that is specific, specifically the reported speech, okay? So, yes, answer, but keep on track. Is it clear what we are going to do in the breakup rooms? Yes. 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 Pretty good. Okay. I'm going to send instructions on WhatsApp's group and I'm going to create the groups. But please keep in mind the verbs. And because we are a team, if your classmate um, doesn't remember the verbs, everyone, you have to help them. If you remember them, tell them, hey guys, that's not the past participle form. The past participle is da 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 da. Okay? Let's see. I'm going to create the groups. Give me one second. Okay, okay. Give me a moment. Also, guys, please um, help your classmates. If you feel that one of your classmates is not participating because maybe your classmate is shy, help them, motivate them 
to participate, they say, hey, you can do it, try, and try to help them, okay? Again, we are a team, and the idea is to learn all of us together, okay? Let's see, let's see. Okay, is everybody ready? Yes? Yes. Can yes. we speak in Spanish? No. Yes. <laughs> My goodness. Zero automatically. <laughs> Full English, please. Let's go to work. <laughs> right, right, right. Sorry. Sad, uh, what? <laughs> so let's start with the practice. Okay. Mm, well, I, I will start. Uh, did you wash the dishes to yesterday? One minute. I will write the, the questions. Did you ask the dishes? Yes, I think so. Could mm. be he asked me mm -hmm. if I had washed the dishes yesterday. Yeah, yeah. I have some doubts about the bird. Okay. Do you want to ask something? I had one. It's, it's the easy one. <laughs> Did you work today? <laughs> so, will be... Uh, Siegfried asked me if I had worked today, right? Yes. And did you? Did you work today? I'm still working. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you, you really loved your job. No, so, so. <laughs> All right. Next question, please. Do you want to ask something, Wilbur? Yes, I'm wondering what, what can I ask? <laughs> uh, did you play uh, basketball yesterday? Yes. No. And the question, Ricardo, that Wilbur asked me. If I had played basketball yesterday. Played, right? Played. Played. Thank you. No, it's played. <laughs> Just, I have some. No, 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 of course not. Of course not. <laughs> I'm just an, I'm peon. Okay. Hello, Kevin. Hello. 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 What up? Welcome. I'm late because I was in another group. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I switched you because you were only two. That's why okay. I decided to move both of you. Okay, okay. No welcome, problem. welcome, welcome. Okay, next question. Uh, me, okay. Okay, me for Oscar. No, ask yeah. Kevin, he's late. No, Oscar, Oscar is, the, <laughs> is at the end. Okay, <laughs> Kevin, sorry. Yes. Oscar, um, okay. Um... Yes, I have. Where do you... No, no. <laughs> Remember, just you... no Yes, where do you ice is uh, just no question, right? Yes, no question. Yes, sorry, 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 sorry. Focus on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Mm, do you like? Did you like? Uh, uh, 
pupusas? Ah, oh, mm, I have to say it in uh, in in uh, I don't remember the name of this, but uh, you ask me. Oh, okay, <laughs> thank you. I, I I'm really yes. bad with with names like the times names like simple present present. I I always forget. Don't what, worry. Uh, what are those concepts? I know how sometimes how to use it, but not. <laughs> I don't remember the name well. Uh, you ask me if I had. If you do, you ask me if I had light pupusas. Yeah. And the answer is yes. I had. <laughs> yes, I like it. <laughs> yes, I love. <laughs> Okay, you you need to ask uh, Oscar. A question. Okay. Yeah. Um, let me check. Um, mm, a difficult question. Uh, did you drive <laughs> uh, your motorcycle yesterday? Ah. <laughs> Can you hear me? <laughs> yes. Uh, Oscar. Uh, yeah, did, did you drive your you. motorcycle uh, this uh, this week? <laughs> I think you're speaking, but we can hear you. Oscar, uh, we can't yeah. hear you. No, nothing. It's a trap, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Disconnect the mic. Sorry, I I I lost the yeah. signal. All <laughs> right, yes. uh, Oscar, try without the headset. Intente sin las manos libres. I mean, tried. Not Spanish. Not Spanish. Come on. He is not <laughs> obeying me. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> No. No, we can't hear you. <laughs> we can hear you. All right, you. let's do something uh, that sometimes works. Uh, go out of the class, of the meeting, and enter again. Sometimes that works. Good night, Oscar. No, Good you night. have to oh, enter again. Oh, you have to enter again. <laughs> sure. Okay, try. Sometimes that works. All right. <laughs> Continue. Meanwhile, you can continue, guys. Okay. okay. Um, so... And uh, the question, Kevin, from Pamela. Repeat, please. I don't remember. <laughs> oh, uh, did you drive, drive. Your, drive your motorcycle on vacations? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Maybe um, you, you use the, the, the bus all the time to go to the work, right? So you only use your motorcycle on vacation <laughs> because you put your jacket to put your black uh, leather jacket and go ride oh your motorcycle. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, Kevin asked me if I have driven my motorcycle on vacation, you said. Yes. <laughs> no, I I didn't have a um, motorcycle. <laughs> I don't have motorcycle. No, I haven't. Is the correct? Um, no, no, I haven't. Sorry, sorry. Um, I haven't because yeah. I don't have. Alexis. A Who is Alexis? Who's Alexis? It's Oscar. Oh, um, um, <laughs> his sub names. Hello. Hello. It's, it's for the foul. Alexis Lara is for the foul. I need oh. to change it all every day. Okay. Um, so can you hear me now? Yes. yes. Right now. Yes. So Kevin asked oh. me if I. So difficult. Yeah. The pronunciation. The pronunciation. 
So, first chair. So, teacher, uh, how do you say uh, the verb swimming, participle, swim, swim? <laughs> okay. Or, or, or how do you pronounce? Swam. 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 What you have to do is this, the position of the mouth. For example, in simple past is with the ah. So um, let's see, say the word cat. In English, cat. cat. And pay attention to your mouth. Cat. It's like we open our mouth, right? And we say ah, cat. In simple passes, I swam. It's wow. like a very open ah. Uh, I swam in the beach. Now, on the other hand, in past participle is the letter U. But we are not a, we are not going to say swim. I swim. No, it's going to sound like a ah, uh, but we are not going to open our mouth. We are going to say it like this uh, in this position. Uh, and we try to uh, say the letter A, uh, but in this position, uh, uh, uh. so that is uh, the pronunciation. And you are going uh, to say, I swam. I swam. I swam. I swam. Uh -huh. So don't uh, open your mouth. It's like uh, a similar word is, for example, sun. ¿Cómo decimos el sol? How do we say sol? We say sun. 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 Mm -hmm. um, so that is a pronunciation. Uh, it's like a uh sound. Yeah, so um, I had swam. Okay. Swam. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Lisa. Next question. Okay. Uh, for Amanda. Yes. Um, Amanda, yesterday, um, you did you talk with your friend? Um, Elvise asked me if I, I had uh, talked with my friends yesterday. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Who listen to, to me? Um, er, Carlos. Um, did you easy, easy. <laughs> <laughs> did you uh mm, did you uh do it no tell me the bird is banya dress no this is the take a idea. shower no take a shower yes uh yesterday did you uh take a shower? Um, I would say if I had taken ask taken, me. Ah um I would say ask ask me if I had taken taken shower yesterday. Cool, <laughs> yes. Now ask a question to Eulisa, please. Ulisse, uh, uh, did you did you how did you have lunch yesterday? Um, Carlos uh, asked me if I had a uh, lunch yesterday. Mm. Yes, because because lunch no don't have. I, can, it, I don't know. Will be uh, have, had. have had yes only had have lunch. Uh so? okay. Um, then uh would be Carlos ask me if I had lunch yesterday. You need to repeat had again. Because the verb in that sentence is have, have yeah. lunch. So um, I need the first had because it's the auxiliary. Okay, Carlos asked me if I had, what is the verb in past participle? Had. 
Well, so you have to repeat the verb had. Two. Exactly. Like the example. Exactly. It's like the example that I mentioned with the computer. Had had. Had had lunch yesterday. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. That is the one. Okay. Very okay. good. Be careful with those kind of sentences. I'm going to verify one more group and then we are going to go back to the main room. Okay. 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 If I had cooked the din the dinner or dinner the dinner last night. Yes. It's correct. It's correct. Yes, oh. it's correct. Okay. We need to repeat, Boris, did you cook? Boris ask, did you cook the banana last night? The answer, yes, I did. And the report speech will be, Boris asked me if I had cooked the dinner last night. Yes. Okay. All right, time's up. And let's go back to the main room, everyone. Okay, let's wait for everybody. Some people are still in the breakup rooms. Let's wait for them. Okay. All right, everybody. Time's up, time's up. What happened is that they want to continue talking. <laughs> All right, all right, welcome back, welcome back again. How was the practice, guys? Easy, difficult, 50-50, or funny, you said? <laughs> yes. funny. funny. Funny, I was listening very interesting questions, actually, and um... funny, funny answers, too. Uh-huh. Did your classmate ask yes no questions in simple past? Yes, they have yes. Yes. all of them. Now, important everybody, remember that the yes no questions starts with the auxiliary. The yes no questions, they don't have a double H word. So be careful because in different groups, sometimes I was listening to some people saying, where did you go? Mm, where did you go? Is a just no question. No. Right? So we need to be careful. Okay. Now, did your classmate reported all the questions? Yes, he did. Yes. With yes, a correct have. structure? Yes. All, all the time. <laughs> okay. With the correct form of the verbs in past participle? Oh, no. <laughs> I hope so. I can say mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> All right. I hope so. Um, let's see. I will be interview you, some of you, because of the time is pretty late already. So um, let's start with one group. In this group, it was Ricardo, Sifrido, and Wilbur. Okay, Ricardo, what did your classmate ask? Tell me. Oh, um, Sigfrido, um, sorry. Sigfrido asked me if I had worked today. Okay, if I wa if I had worked. Uh, sorry. <laughs> All right, sounds good, sounds good. Um, let's see. In another group, it was Kevin, Nelson, Oscar, and Pamela. Um, Oscar, tell me, what did your classmate ask? There is no kid. Hi. <laughs> uh <-huh>. <laughs> <laughs> tell me, what did your classmate ask? Uh, Kevin asked me. If I had trouble with my computer today. <laughs> if you had trouble with your computer, huh? Okay, sounds interesting. And did you? Did you travel with your computer? Yes, I had. Yes? Yes, I, I have had. Mm, okay, remember, guys, when you answer, 
the question, you answer the question as a simple past, okay? Because the question is in past. Did you travel with oh, your okay. computer? Yes, I did. All right, simple. Okay, thank, thank you, you, Oscar. Next, it was a group with Andrea, Boris, Carlos, and Salvador. Um, Carlos, Mauricio, what did your classmate ask? Okay, um, Boris asked me if I had learned something last class. Mm, all right, and did you? Yes, I did. All right, pretty good. Okay, there was another team with Eulise, um, Amanda, and Carlos. Um, Amanda, what did your classmate ask? My classmate. Uh, ask me if I if I grew in San Salvador. Mm, okay. Now and that's yes, a, I did. and you did. Now that's a very interesting verb. Remember, guys, if you are talking about um grow from your body, human's body, we always use the preposition up, like grow up, grew up, grown up. Okay, if you are talking about grow inside of a company, I'm talking about the position, right? You start like an agent, then as a supervisor, and you are growing. In that case, we say only grow. We don't use the preposition up. Okay. With the person. Okay. Uh, together up. Yes. For example, in this case, you can ask uh, Amanda, "Did you grow up in San Salvador?" Okay, grow up. But if I'm talking about if you have grown in your company, I will say just, hey, did you grow in your company? That is the difference. Okay? Okay. Pretty good. Okay, everybody. Nice job. I think that you are doing such a great job with the reported speech. How did you feel? Is it difficult? Mm. Uh -huh. 50 50. 50 50. What is the most difficult? Confused. For me, it's more difficult is the verb and past participle. Ah, uh, no, that is difficult. <laughs> and it's a little bit confusing because you have to be thinking and switching the grammar tenses, right? We are listening into simple past, but we need to change it into the past perfect, and it's like kind of confusing. But you are doing great, actually. I can see very good sentences and you are doing great. Any questions so far? Yes, Sifrido, go ahead. No, yet. I have one question. So mm -hmm. It's like technical questions. What would be the correct form to report to me in a good conversations? Like, I uh, say, Wilbur asked to Ricardo if he had played basketball yesterday. Is correct to say it or not? Yes, absolutely. Because in this case, guys, remember that if you had proper names, you can use the proper names. So imagine that you were working with Ricardo and I don't remember what was, a Wilbur, right? Yeah. And you want to say like, hey, somebody says this to some other person. Perfect. You can report it like that. Wilbur asked to Ricardo if he had ta, 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 ta. okay you can do it okay got it excellent another question that you may have everyone yes no okay now I can see some of you a little stressed out let's relax guys stretch your arms Drink water if you have water. Let's relax a little bit. We are going to change the topic, okay? Because <laughs> we already practice a lot reported speech. Let's relax. And we are going to talk about something a little bit easier, okay? So it's Friday. <laughs> Let's relax. And we are going to continue talking uh, about the topics that we have planned for today. And is explain most common issues when online shopping, okay? If you see during the previous unit, the unit number one, we talked a lot about the e-commerce, e-businesses, e right? 
So let's continue talking about it. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes, I can yes. see. Yes? Excellent. Okay, I have some questions for you. The first question is this. Guys, what are some common issues or common problems that you can face when you shop online? What do you think? Wrong prices on the payment. Um, I don't know what the name is. Uh, when you're paying, it don't it doesn't have the same price as it says on the on first time on the first time you see it on the web page. Ah, okay. So a wrong price. Good. Yeah. That is one issue. Yes. And actually, that is a very bad issue. <laughs> Totally. What else? Another issue, guys? When you mm -hmm. have some issues with your credit card by the country or the access. Ah, okay. That's another good point. Very good. What else? That your package get lost. Your packet get lost. Yes. Unfortunately, that's terrible. Uh Cifrida, what do you say? The product is different. A different product, yes. Imagine, guys, you order something and arrive something different. Yeah, that's a very bad problem. Uh huh. Anything else? When you want to buy any uh, something and the delivery is not available in your country. Yes, definitely. It's terrible. <laughs> Totally, exactly. All right, very good, guys. Thank you. Now look at the next question. Um, do you always read reviews before buying a product from an online store? I mean, do mm -hmm. you like to read the other people, um, other people' opinions or not? Most of the time. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. And the rest of you guys. Oh, you don't read. The other people's opinion. Yeah. Just teacher. <laughs> yes, I did. I no, always <laughs> review. I'm yes. sorry. I always review the the. I always read the reviews. Ah, okay. And specifically in a page named Kane. It is because it's about clothes, and sometimes you can get a clothes totally different when the pictures <laughs> of the reviewers. All right, cool. Uh, Pamela, what were you saying? Yes, teacher, before before buying a, a product, I, I read the, the reviews from other people to have an idea of the product that I'm going to to buy. Very good. Yeah. Imagine, guys, that most of the people um are writing that the product is not so good. Will you buy it anyway or not? No. Maybe no? not. Totally not. Ah, very good. Excellent. Okay, the last question. What do you do, guys, when you order a product and receive something faulty or something different from the ones that you order? Um, put a claim on the seller. Yeah, okay. What else? Do you know what the meaning is for faulty? It's when uh, something wow. is not working or not have the use that you need it or mm -hmm. correctly. It's basically like... When something is wrong? Yes. All right. When something is faulty we can say that it's not like um in good conditions it doesn't work properly just imagine we can say that it's not perfect imagine that you buy a cell phone uh, when you receive the cell phone yes it's the product that you order but when you start to try to turn it on it doesn't work so that means it's faulty it's you not working <laughs> ah and then imagine if you try to charge it but even though it doesn't work mm -hmm. that means that the cell phone is faulty 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Exactly. All right. Uh huh. What else, guys? What else do you do when you order? Uh, when you receive the the product. Get mad. <laughs> <laughs> Get mad. Yes. Uh huh. What else? Uh huh. Will you buy in the same website where no. you have that product? I will put a bad review. <laughs> okay, pretty good. So that is basically what we are going to be talking about. Issues when we buy online. Okay? Yes. Now, um, we are going to see and read this conversation about Emily. Emily is telling Diego about an online order for shoes that she just placed. I need two volunteers for reading. I want to be Diego. <laughs> okay, Kevin is going to be Diego. Pamela. Hi, All right, Pamela okay. starts first. I'm sorry, thank you. Okay, Pamela, you will be Emily. This conversation, guys, is on your manual. If you want to read it in your manual, it's in the page 17. Okay, so guys, let's start. Okay. I just ordered a pair of shoes online. They are very expensive in stores, but I got an excellent deal online. I can't even believe it. You should be careful when you're when ordering stuff online. Last time I ordered some shirts, but I got the wrong size and color. Then I had to ship the package back to get the right items. It ended up being more expensive. Well, I read a lot of positive reviews on the site, so I think I made a good choice with these shoes. I read a lot of reviews too, but I didn't know that sellers could post fake reviews. You may want to go and double check to avoid any issues with your purchase. Thank you. So imagine, guys, what do you think? This is the last paragraph caught my attention. Do yeah. you think that in the websites, guys, there are like fake posts? Yes. Imagine. I already seen some. <laughs> <laughs> How can you identify that they are fake? Mm, because it in the comment always say the same. Uh -huh. The same message. It's a great product, and and it's more. It's like copy paste um, <laughs> multiple times. All right. So imagine that's very interesting, right? Sometimes we read the reviews, and they are very positive, but we don't know <laughs> if these ones are fake. That's something very negative, actually. Okay. Let's see if you paid attention to the conversation. Let's see, volunteer for reading the first question, please. Yo. Yes? Okay. Yeah. What should you do before buying from an online, online store? Uh -huh, everyone. No. You should check uh, the reviews. Check the reviews. What else? Check for the site on um, the scam site. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other idea? You have to check your your items, the the quantity, the size, the the type. All the characteristics. Mm -hmm. Yes. Definitely, very good, very good. Um, people, please volunteer for reading the second question. Me, teacher. Yes, go ahead. What what tips will you give your partner to avoid face review online? Ah, interesting. So, guys, what do you think? Mm, double check, double check, check the reviews. Okay, sounds good. Another tip, guys, to avoid fake reviews right. online. Check, check the Okay. Okay, Carlos, uh, repeat please, and then bodies. Um, to buy the product, um, recognize a website. On a recognized website, yes. Like 
Um, those websites that you can trust. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Boris, what do you say? Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, I check the 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 the, the uh, online store is a safe. Ah, uh, very good. Yes, it's better, guys, if we buy in the more popular websites, right? The ones that we can trust. Know those ones that are like so good to be true, right? Very good. The last question, volunteer for reading, please. Let me be sure. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead, read it. What can you do if you receive damaged items for an online purchase? So, what do you think, guys? What can you do? Make a, a complaint. Okay, yes. What else? Take a picture to send to the seller. Very to good. The, the damage. Yes, in order that you can have proofs. Very good. Any other idea, guys? Buy in the same website again? <laughs> Yes or no? Leave a bad review. <laughs> <laughs> and never go back, right? And never go back. Very good. Excellent. Now, when we are talking about, guys, buying online, uh, here we got some vocabulary that we are going to verify right now. I have here different words. These are terms related to the online shopping. And here we have the meaning. So guys, in this moment, I want you to match the words with the correct meaning. I will give you five minutes to complete it, please. Read carefully. I don't want you to translate. Remember the secret. We need to identify the key words, okay? Let's start. You can answer in your notebooks, and then we are going to see if your answers are correct or not. You have five minutes. Go ahead. If you have a question, if there is a word that maybe you don't understand, tell me, I can help you with that. We need to match all of these words with the correct meaning. What, what, the, what the meaning third party? Oh, third party. Uh, let me see, where is it? Oh, there it is. 
Okay, third party guys is when you are talking about to someone else. Um, for example, in this case, if you are talking about a feedback in common for a third party seller, it's um when we say a tercero, right? It's not someone exactly connected to that business, it's just um, un tercero, right, is someone that is out of that business, but that they are connected. Okay. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. You have two more minutes. If there is a word that you don't know what the meaning is, tell me and I can help you with that. Read carefully, try to identify the keywords. Two more minutes. Did you finish? Yes. Yes, pretty good. Yes. Okay, pretty good. Everybody? Did you finish? Yes. yes. Okay, we are going to verify the answers, but before that, guys, I'm going to um, check attendance, all right? So when you listen to your names, please say present, okay? Um, let me see. Amanda Zamora. Present. Thank you. Ana Lorena Lovato. Oh, I think she's listener. Okay. Boris Alexander Cortez. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Okay. Carlos Ernesto Hernández. Present. Thank you. Carlos Mauricio Menjibar. Present. Thank you. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Um, let's see, Elias Neftali Martinez. Okay, Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Thank you. Irma Evelyn Rodriguez. Okay, Jose Salvador Bernal. Present, teacher. Thank you. Osman Atilio Serrano. Present teacher. Thank you. Kevin Alexander Perez. Kevin Alexander Perez. Present. Thank you. Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Okay. Maria Jose Sigüenza. <coughs> okay. Um, Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present. Thank you. Oscar Alexis Lara. Present. Thank you. Osman Enrique Hernandez. Okay, Pamela Carolina Molina. Present. Thank you. Rafael Alexander Serna. Eh, Ricardo Ernesto Pérez. Present. Okay. Sifrido Ernesto Gómez. Present teacher. Okay. Wilber Alberto Pérez. Present teacher. Okay. And Andrea Jamilet Mendoza. Present. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Let's go back to um, the exercise. So we are going to verify if your answers are correct. So reliable seller. What is that? Reliable a seller you can trust with your purchase and who is consistently good in delivering quality quality of products. Do you agree, everybody? Yes, I agree with yes. Kevin. I agree. Okay. And that is a wow. very good. Fake review. What is that? It's a positive of negative 
feedback about a product or service written or paid by brands or sellers. Do you agree, everyone? Yes. 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 Totally. Very good job. Uh, ratings. Feedback and comments about a third party seller focused on the buying experience. Do you agree, everyone? Yes. 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 Good. Guarantee. Formal assurance that certain conditions will be fulfilled relating to a product or service. Everyone, is that right? Yes. 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 Good. Sure. Faulty. Working badly or unreliable, unreliably because of imperfection. Is that correct? Absolutely. Yes. Very yes. good. And the last one, skeptical. Volunteer for reading? Not easily combines having dubs or reservations. Pretty good. Excellent job. Easy or difficult, the vocabulary? Easy. Nice. It's okay. Very good. You are improving. That's why. Excellent job, guys. Now, we don't have more time, so tomorrow we are going to continue reviewing the vocabulary. Okay? So... Let's see, let's see. Um, is Edwin here? <laughs> no? Ah, my goodness. Um, Amanda, do you have a question? Yes, I have some comments about our uh, uh, portal, our platform. Platform mm -hmm. uh, okay. over this exercise. But maybe I can talk to you directly. Um, or what is the number of the exercise? The exercise is 2.5 homework. Is from the unit number two? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to check it right now and uh, uh, you can send me a message and we can verify it. All okay, right? because it, it was the same exercise, but the, the answers are changed. And okay. it's not combined with the correct response. So this exercise uh, was useful to me to check if I had the reason or not. Ah, all right. Pretty good. <laughs> so is the um 2.5, you said, right? Yes. Okay. Let me check the exercise and uh, I will send it uh, in a message. Okay. Okay. Thank Pretty you. good. Okay. Um, the winner for tonight was Edwin, but Edwin is not here anymore. <laughs> so considering, guys, that it's Friday and that you might be tired, um, I won't ask anyone to stay today, okay? So you are totally free to go to sleep. And I hope, guys, you have a wonderful weekend. Work on the platform, please. And see you on Monday. Bye. See you, guys. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Have a good night.